Greetings, First Church and friends. Reverend Ray here, another daily devotion. Uh, this one is uh, one that was in written form yesterday on my blog page, and uh, today I put it on video. It's titled, We Will Stop Crying. Uh, we have God's words through Revelation 21, verse 4, as our base this morning. John writes, He will wipe every tear from their eyes. And there will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain, for the old order of things has passed away. This is one of those passages I often use at funerals, and I believe many clergy do as well. It speaks of a hope. It speaks of a promise. Every tear will be wiped away, and there will be no more tears, no more crying, no more pain. Tears seem to flow quite readily these days. Uh, we seem to be a society that has its feelings hurt all too easily and all too often. Uh, we cry over the elections, whether our person is elected or not, and, and there's one coming in a few months. Uh, we cry when we don't get our way or because someone else got their way. We cry when someone seemingly gets over on us. Uh, we cry for almost any reason, it seems. For those crying for change in our society, and there are some major changes that need to be made, uh, we will never agree on them at least on many of them. Chances are, whoever is elected in November will not be able to make many changes. It will either be more of the same or four years of trying to tear down the previous administration's decisions. Oh, how I wish we could have some real change in our nation. Yet, as I mentioned before, we wouldn't agree on what those changes should be. Someone will cry if change doesn't happen as they see the need or that it changes in a way that doesn't fit their worldview or narrative. Recently, my mother-in-law died. I have cried numerous times, as now all four of our parents have passed. I find myself weeping uncontrollably at times. I just did a funeral for a uh, nearly 97-year-old man's uh, wife. He was celebrating the life of his lifetime wife, uh, who was 95. And they had been married for 74 years. What I know as fact is that none of our four parents, or this sweet lady of 95, or another saint who recently died, is crying today. They are in the presence of God and rejoicing. The promise is that when we arrive in the New Jerusalem, God will wipe every tear from their eyes. And there will be no more death, or mourning, or crying, or pain, for the old order of things has passed away. This is a promise that will be kept. I, for one, look forward to joining my parents someday in the promised land where no promises will go unfulfilled. We grieve here and now. We cry now, at times uncontrollably. But there will come a day when we will cry no more. We will stop crying and our tears will be replaced with praise and joy. Just something for us to think about today as we go on our way. God bless your day.